All right, uh, today I want to show you a blogging tool that I've been using recently for a lot of the posts I've been writing for a new blog. It's called seowriting.ai. Uh, I really like the tool, and I especially like the one-click blog post tool that they have. So today what I want to do is take you through my uh, workflow and show you how I use SEO writing.ai in conjunction with my keyword tool and my SEO optimization tools and then uh, look at the final output from the tool from SEO writing.ai and just give you a feel for the quality that you're going to get when you create articles uh, using SEO writing. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're looking at the SEO writing.ai interface. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a one-click blog post. So we're just going to click and start that. Uh, when you're in the one-click blog post screen, the very first thing that you need to add is your main keyword. So uh, I use Low Fruits as my keyword tool. And in this case, what we're going to do today is I already have some keywords uh, that I found. I have one particular keyword that has a lot of weak spots and looks like a good opportunity to rank for if I was going to try to rank this blog post. So I'm going to choose the why are gravel bikes expensive long tail keyword and I'm going to go back into SEO writing and I'm going to add that in the main keyword section. So once that's there, you can have it generate a title for you. And what I love is when it creates this title, it's using your long tail keyword as part of the title. You know, some AI writing tools will try to come up with a little snappier uh, title for you. Um, but from an SEO ranking perspective, having your full main keyword or long tail keyword in your title is really helpful. So then there's these course settings that you have to take a look at. Um, you know, you have, I believe, up to 48 languages that you can write blog posts in. I'm not going to count them here, but I believe it's about 48. Uh, I'm going to go with a medium sized article, 24 to 3,600 words. Uh, you have a variety of different uh, voices that you can use. I'm going to use a tone of voice that's informational. I just normally leave point of view, target country at none. There's a medium uh, article option. I never, uh, I just don't use that particular feature. I leave that alone. So this is the interesting feature uh, that SEO writing has. Uh, it does uh, include some tokens that you can use to create AI images and add them to this blog post. So the one thing that I want to point out is they give you two different qualities that, of images that you can use. There's an optimal and a high quality. You just want to be aware that if you use a high quality image, it's going to cost 10 tokens. So I'm going to just go with the optimal quality. Um, from a placement standpoint, Again, if you're concerned about using too many image tokens and sort of burning through those quickly in your first few articles, I strongly suggest having uh, just an image after the H1, sort of that feature image. So that's what I'm going to select for a placement. And the other thing that I want to say, you know, because this is an AI image, um, you, you want to be careful about which... Um, type of image style that you use. Some blogs um, or blog niches, for example, you know, you'd like to use that photo quality AI image, but just realize that uh, some, some AI, you know, image tools have a difficult time with certain niches. So to make sure that I'm getting something that I think is going to work, I usually pick cinematic. Um, ideally, if I could, I'd like to be able to enter a prompt in here and prompt the AI image myself. But in this case, cinematic seems to work the best for me, so I'm going to go ahead and choose it. Again, in an article about gravel bikes, it's really hard to know uh, 
what we're going to get, but hopefully uh, cinematic gives us the best shot of getting a good feature image. So the next thing is the SEO section where you can input the keywords that you want to include in this text. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, I have Neuron Writer. It's my SEO optimization tool. And I just want to briefly share something quickly. All the tools that we're talking about today are ones that I'm an affiliate for. So if you click the link in the description for the video of any of these and purchase them, I do make a commission. But I also want to say that they're all tools that I purchase with my own money and I use for blogging purposes. So back to SEO. So you can enter uh, keywords here. You can use the NLP keywords generation tool that SEO writing offers. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Neuron Writer, which is the tool that I use, and I'm going to create a query. And I'm going to grab keywords for this long tail uh, query here, long tail keyword query. Why are gravel bikes expensive? So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Uh, while this is working, I'll pause the video. All right, Neuron Writer is finished. I'm going, going to open up this query, content query. Uh, these are the top articles for this particular keyword. I'm going to go next so I can get to my keywords and copy those and bring them over to SEO Writing. Now, the one thing that I do want to say is if you have Surfer SEO, you can do the same thing. Uh, there are different ways that you can use ChatGPT and Claude.ai uh, and grab keywords that way. Or you can just use the ones that SEO writing generates. One thing I want to point out, um, competitor's best score is a 73. I'll get back to this in a little bit after the article's written, but I want to point it out now. We'll remember that. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to copy the list of terms for this article. We're going to drop it into Google Docs. And in the case of Neuron Writer, what we're going to pull over is our basic and extended text terms that it generated based on the top 10 um, posts dealing with this keyword, why are gravel bikes expensive? So I think I've got about 50 there. I'm going to copy those. So back in SEO writing, I just drop those in. Now I can have up to 50 keywords. Notice it says 50 of 50. These are ones that are additional just going to grab them, delete them. And now we have our keyword set of 50. So from a document structure standpoint, I typically just leave everything at default, which means that I want a document with a conclusion. I want it to include tables. I want it to include H3s, lists, italics, quotes, key takeaways, and an FAQ section. Um, I am not a WordPress user. I write my blog posts in a static HTML generator. Uh, if you are a WordPress user, uh, they have a very slick publish to WordPress capability. Uh, I can't demo that today, but I've seen, I've seen it demoed and it looks great. Um, I just don't happen to use WordPress at this time. So your language model, so your output is going to be a combination of GPT 3.5, 3.5 Turbo 16K, and GPT 4. So it's a mix. Um, and SEO Writing says they use a mix of different models for the best quality. Uh, I will point out that it looks like they're going to add just a GPT 4 only uh, capability later, but they don't have it yet. Um, and if you have an open API key, you can add that as well. So now that we've went through and basically added our SEO keywords, we picked our image and image quality and how many images we want, core settings, 
uh, we go back up to the top and we're going to go ahead and run this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this article. I'll pause the video and come back when it's completed. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article. So why are gravel bikes so expensive and covering the cost factor? So this is the AI image that was created for the featured image. Uh, it's more than acceptable. Uh, it would work just fine for this article. Like I said, there are going to be certain niches that are just going to be a little tougher for AI to create, uh, you know, the kind of image that you'd want to put on the blog. So what I like is this has a nice, short, concise introduction. And I think the big deal with a lot of AI writers is they write these very lengthy introductions. That's not going to help uh, you out because people are going to... Um, click away from your article uh, or just scroll through it and not read any of it at all. It has a nice little key takeaway section. Um, again, it defines features of a gravel bike. Uh, I'm not going to go through here and talk to you about how factual it is, um, but when I read something like G about the geometry of a gravel bike, uh, you know, it says it has a unique geometry. It's a cross between a road and a mountain bike, longer wheelbase, slacker head angle, taller head tube. Those are all facts about a gravel bike. Uh, so it's done a good job there. And most of the articles that I've written so far ha are more in a sort of technical area and they have been quite factual. But again, you just want to check any AI article out before you uh, post it. This is another thing that I like with SEO writing is these little pull quotes that they put in here. It just visually breaks up the page, makes it more readable, makes for just a better user experience for the person who's reading your article. Um, I'll scroll through. Keep going. Again, another little pull quote. I love that. This is great, too. So it's got, you know, this really neat table with price ranges. And when I look at the, the price ranges and I look at uh, what it's saying here, it's all factual. These are typical price ranges for a carbon mid-range and entry-level gravel bike. So this is great. Has a nice, you know, shorter, concise conclusion, a little summary. I'd probably look at that. I may not need it, but... Uh, it could be uh, something you want to include. And then it finishes up with an FAQ, which is really good too. Um, probably wouldn't include this conclusion, but it does a great job of creating a very readable uh, article that is a great user experience for somebody who is uh, coming to your blog. Um, Another thing that it does here, if we click show meta tags, why are gravel bikes so expensive? You know, you've got the meta title you can copy and use if you need to uh, pull that over into um, uh, WordPress or in my case into my static HTML CMS and the meta description as well. Uh, and I like the meta description. You know, Google doesn't always use them, uh, but it's, it's a nice sort of, clickbaity kind of uh, meta description that might get somebody to take a look at your article as opposed to somebody else's. So what do you need to do to edit this document? Well, you would just simply click edit. This little checker here uh, gives you an idea of how optimized they feel the whole article is. So for example, first we'll look at content analysis. Sorry, there we go. Uh, it says three out of four. All this means is this H2 header. Anytime you see something in red, in this case, there is not an H2 header anywhere within this particular article that includes the phrase, why are gravel bikes expensive? So uh, if you could figure out a way to include this, uh, why are gravel bikes expensive somewhere in an H2 header within the article, this would bump up, for, you know, to four out of four. And when you look at the keywords in the drop down, 
anything that's green has been used within the article. And it tells you how many times it's been used um, as well. Now, for example, the, the term best gravel bike has not been used. So let's say we add it here. So if you're in the market for Okay, notice it says 61%. Now I add best gravel bike. Now it highlights it because it is uh, one of the keywords that I pulled over from Neuron Rider. So it highlights it and now we're at 62%. So you can see if you went through and edited the document, uh, you can add, uh, add and increase the score. Now, what if you wanted to add a new section and you needed the AI to write it for you? So let's just add one and I'll show you how that works. Um, let me come up with the title here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a section called Can a Mountain Bike Be Used as a Gravel Bike? We're going to give it an H2. I place my cursor and I pick AI Write and it's going to write this section for me. So it's written a fairly lengthy section. You know, you'd need to, to read it and make sure that it made sense and was factual. But notice it also increased the score because what it did is it uh, used some additional keywords that were part of that set of keywords I pulled from Neuron Writer. So now that we've uh, looked at how we can edit a document, how we can increase the overall score, let's just see... Um, how it scores a Neuron Writer. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to pull it over to Neuron Writer. And again, remember the competitor's best score is a 73. We'll drop it in. We'll see here where we're at. So it's saying a 47. And we need to also add this to the meta title, which will bump up the score. So now we're up to a 66. So we're really close. So if you were using Neuron Writer, uh, Surfer SEO, or some other SEO optimization tool, you know, you'd take that tool, you would go in, look at your content, and then in this case, you know, I would start off with my terms and my headers and see there's a lot of H2 terms here that uh, if I added them uh, and appended some of the H2 uh, terms that were already here, my score would go up. But I'm not going to turn this into a Neuron Writer uh, tutorial, but I just wanted you to know uh, this is a great workflow, you know, using your keyword tool. Uh, building the article in SEO, um, building the article in SEO writing, and then lastly, pulling it into your SEO optimization tool and finishing it out there. So the one thing that I wanted to talk about quickly is let's look at the pricing structure and how that works. They do have a, a, a free capability so you can create some articles and see how it works for you. Um, the plans can either be on a monthly billing or billed by year. Obviously, if you uh, sign up for a year, you're going to save money that way. Um, and from a monthly standpoint, so the 100K plan, so that gives you 100,000 words a month and 50 article generations. So you could do 51 click blog posts uh, and then, you know, you have a 100,000 word limit in those 50 uh, article generations. Uh, so it starts at $19 on a monthly plan all the way up to $199 a month if you're really, uh, you know, maybe you have a large group of people that are working on articles together. I would say for most, uh, you know, 
people that are uh, solo entrepreneurs, the 500K plan or even the 100K plan would be perfectly fine. Now, the one thing I do want to mention is if you uh, use my link in the video description, I also have a nice discount code with that. So take advantage of that if you want to try out SEO writing and see if it's a tool that's going to work for you. So I hope you found this uh, particular video useful for you. Uh, if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it, if you subscribe. And until next time, take care.